Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move into the first match of the series between Soul Key and Yo Frostwolfsian. This is WCG 2013. China with Whiplash and my co caster Hendrilis <laughs> coming in. Gonna, uh, he's going to let me borrow his Zerg expertise yeah. throughout the series. Uh, of course, Soul Key is going to be spawning in uh, the bottom right. Sorry. I thought that Soul Key would be top left, but no, not the case. And of course, Yo Flash Wolves in. He's going to be in the top left. Yeah, so this matchup, ZVZ, is uh, my strongest matchup, I feel. And I'm very interested in how the game pans out. Especially here, where both players have elected to not go for an early pull. We can skip that kind of build order coin flip, let's say, mm -hmm. and jump into a relatively stable game, I would think. Uh, both players are about to either go pool first or hatch first. And uh, well do you have the pool first from our both players. Oh, okay. Both yeah. players opting for the, the pool first. They want to play safe. But I think if I were Ian, I would be taking a bit of a risk. Maybe going for a hatchery, then a gas, and then a pool. Because I would need all that I could get versus someone like Sulky. Yeah, uh, so basically, you know, if you're playing a really good player, your best bet is just greedy. Greed is good, essentially. Yeah. But then again, Ian, I think, in this situation, he's thinking, Soki's so good, he might just go for an early pull. And despite what I do, uh, he can't just play from behind. So I better be safe than sorry. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's both perfectly good viewpoints, the, the take yeah. in this scenario. And, you know, playing the, the overall very safe, stable build order, mm. you can't fault someone for that, basically no matter what. Yeah, and I think the first difference has occurred here where... Ian has uh, taken a gas, but Soki is electing to go, to go for a gasless stop because he has not dropped the gas. This indicates he's not going to get the Zergling speed as fast as Ian would, so we're not going to be seeing any pressures out of Soki. He's going to be working on droning as hard as he can, getting a few extra queens out there before he takes the gas. Uh, so, I mean, Soki, he's the man that you don't want to face in the later stages when it comes to any matchup, you yeah. know, no matter if it's ZBZ or, or what. And uh, the more the time uh, ticks onto the late game, I'm sure <laughs> the, the better and better Soul Key will start the field. Yeah, Soul Key's smile will, will widen <laughs> as the <laughs> clock <laughs> counts. And still not electing to take any gases. I'm very, uh, I think that Soul Key will be going for uh, the gasless style that goes into roaches. Mm -hmm. Getting an evolution chamber, getting the lair for roach speed, a roach worm for roaches. But... Cool. And in fact, both players actually got a scout into the main bases, so both players have a good idea of uh, the timing of Zergling speed, or in Soki's Sulky, case, no Zergling speed at all. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, that pretty much means that Sulky, he's, he's kind of free to, if he wants to put on more aggression. He can, he can totally do that. He can still, you know, move into these other areas, but... Uh, Really, it's still, you know, everything's up in the air, it feels, uh, for yeah. the most part. And I've noticed, actually, Ian pulled all his drones out of the gas upon seeing that Sulky had not taken gas for speed. So I think s Ian is going to keep droning, mm -hmm. just have the Zergling speed in case he needs to make mass Zerglings, and, uh, and take a very fast third base. All right. And Sulky, for his defense, going to go ahead and grab a Spore Crawler. Or, excuse me, spine <laughs> crawler. That's yeah. not a He doesn't run. come that fast. <laughs> uh, and yeah. the one base muter rush. Oh. Go for gas first, then the you secret get the strategy. Oh, man. Come on. Yeah. Even I know about this strategy. <laughs> I thought you were the Zerg expert over yeah. here. <laughs> well, I think uh, Soki playing safe, as he did in the opener, by dropping that spine, as you said. Mm -hmm. And what he's done is actually he's taken four gases all at the same time and a roach worm and the evolution chamber. So. Going for that two-base roach style. And Ian has taken that very fast third base, as I said. And he's actually gotten a bailing nest, just in case. Because some players like to go gasless, then trick their opponents by getting ga gas for speed and spamming a ton of speedlings. So, so how yeah. do you think this uh, overall, the, the, the build orders are going to play out? We're going to have Soul Key with the potential to make a lot of roaches and eventually get that roach speed while... Uh, we see from Ian, he's getting the Roach Worm, but he's also got the Baneling Nest for, for safety, and he has a good amount of Zerglings as well. Honestly, I, I would prefer uh, Ian's position slightly more in this situation. What Soki's got going for him is a faster lair, faster upgrades, but what he doesn't have is a third base about to be completed, 
and the ability for a lot of drones to be made for that third base, and the zergling speed to deny your opponent's third base. All right, so Solki is still in an okay position, but you would prefer Ian's then. Uh, in this situation, how the games pan out, yeah. Yeah. Well, it does still seem like uh, Solki doesn't really want to commit too much to anything at this point, and uh, I mean, he's planning to get his third base. And ooh, very smart. He sees the drone and at the yeah. last second pulls it back. I wouldn't be surprised if Ian never even spotted the drone. And this just, yeah. you know, kind of keeps him a little bit more in the dark. I feel like that kind of speaks to Solki's experience, but mm -hmm. that may not even matter as these Zerglings are going to move towards that third. And yeah, the actually, fine. He's got to be <laughs> careful. Oh, no. Well, the Roaches are there to shoot him away from the Queens. But the good thing about going for such Zergling, uh, such fast Zergling speed and your opponent not having Zergling speed is the ability to prod in and out check if the third base is there, stall it for a long time. And in this case, Ian's third is well completed while Soki's has just started. So Soki has to do something here. Yeah, and, and it feels like Ian, you know, he's definitely ahead in the drone count. And he's, like you said, you know, he have that extra hatchery. You can pump out so many drones. That's just going to keep uh, his position an economic lead. The only thing that Soki really has over his opponent at this point is he's going to have the earlier plus one armor. But besides that, it doesn't seem to be, like, too much. Yeah, and Ian actually starts a Hydralisk gun. And th when you start a Hydralisk gun, usually you're thinking the guy's not going to go for a massive bust right now. I want to invest in the Hydras to get more DPS in my army as I get more and a more army supply. So Ian is probably going to play defensively with a slight economic lead, while Soki, he's the one trying to make something happen here. Um, he, he probably knows already by that Overlord at third base, I think the drones that were uh, put there. So I think Soki might just play defensively too since he's taken both gases. He's continuing upgrades. And yeah. I mean, uh, the, the upgrades will definitely come into effect later on in the match. Uh, Soki kind of evens out the economy uh, when he saturates the third expansion. And uh, the supplies, you know, they still look pretty even as well. Uh, yeah. we're, just, we're not seeing that uh, plus armor upgrade really from Ian and also Solki doesn't really know too much about the Hydralisk stem, which could hurt him in the long run. But uh, we see that instead of going for the Hydralisks, Solki, he wants to go for the Infestors. Yeah, uh, I think Ian, um, he could have droned up his third a little bit more greedily to get a, a, a bigger um, supply lead because of the earlier third. And this, this, this difference now of going Roach Hydra versus Roach infest whoa and a bailing nest for the Roach Infestor player Solki. Uh well it's gonna be very interesting when the big battle pans out. So what does that bailing list kind of does that tell? Does that mean he's gonna add some bailings into the mix? Uh one of the very oh uh, adding some speed oh yeah, he's definitely adding speed bailings as he's just started thirty two Zerglings. So what he wants to do is he wants to get a very, very nice flank or an arc over his opponent's Roach Hydra army have the Bailings roll in past uh, Ian's Roaches straight for the Hydras because Hydras are squishy just like Marines. Two Bailings kills one Hydra. And Hydras usually clump up. They're slow. They can't <laughs> spread out really fast. They're fat too, so... <laughs> and there you have it, Hendrilus. We have a ridiculous amount of Bailings being uh, morphed at this point. The 2-2 is going to finish uh, very soon for the, hi the Roaches as well. Bailing uh, speed is... Uh, about halfway at this point, maybe a little bit under. Yeah. Uh, I guess the advantage for Ian is he's going to have a lot of roaches. He's going to have a lot of hydralisks as well. And he's also he's going to get that infestation pit. He's going to have hydra speed and the plus two working on the plus one armor. Yeah, but so he's got to be very careful here that he doesn't lose all his hydras to the bailings. And, and he's actually retreating, so... I think he re it, is, it looks like he realizes what's going on because he doesn't even have a lot of hydras in his army. And he's... Pretty much just switching back to Pure Roach. Yeah, both players are going to approach the maxed out uh, supply mark here. Yeah. And something big will happen, as in the two armies will clash, and one will usually come out ahead. So, it, will it be the Bailing player, or will it be the Hydra Ian player? <laughs> well, I guess we're going to find out if they decide to attack each other. I feel like the both of the, pl uh, the, the players are kind of like, well, I don't really want to attack you, but... I'm going to yeah. be flashy and show my army. Don't get any ideas. Yeah. Don't attack me until I'm ready to attack you. We can I think rush 10 minutes on this <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, and also I think Soki bought some time there with a r with some roach run bys while his bailing speed was finishing up. 
And here he's posturing to take a big fight. All right, the ramp. looks like Soul Key's gonna move and he's just gonna go for the attack. The Banelings are running immediately for the Hydra. Oh. But the Roaches are doing an excellent job at taking all the fire. The Hydras uh, doing their job well, but Soul Key, uh, it's still pretty even. I think he's gonna be forced to retreat with the Hydras and Ian's army. Soul Key, he's got no answer for them. The Banelings yeah. all destroyed almost easily. It seems like the defense from the Taiwanese player has been extremely solid. Oh yeah, that battle was, it seemed okay for Soki at first because, oh, well, another one coming up and he realizes there's Hydra, so I gotta back off. But ah. yeah, at first, while Ian was splitting half of his army to run away, his uh, Soki's roaches are getting free hits off. But it wasn't enough there because Ian was successfully able to defend it. Yeah, and also let's not forget the amazing arc that Ian had compared yeah. to his opponent Soki, pretty much between the natural and third base, he had a lot of units spread out. So that's really cool uh, to see that amount of spread with units. Yeah, uh, I think Soki wasn't taking the most favorable engage he could have got going up the ramp. Uh, I feel like maybe oh. he was, he just wanted to force the issue, kind of yeah. try to intimidate oh. a little but bit. But here, he has uh -oh. investors, he can fungal all the banelings and the banelings can't do anything. Uh, the banelings, I mean, they've been absolutely useless for Soki this game. And uh, the concave is very good for both players. Soki, uh, at this point, uh, it's still looking very even. Can he have the, an, enough DPS to really move through this army? No! Oh. Soki forced back. And we're seeing the Taiwanese player, Ian, doing a great job really defending against Soki's attack. He's ahead in supply. Yeah. 173 to 157. At least Soki has some infestors to help him out now, but... It feels but like the, the Baneling tactic has been yeah, the Baneling's, this game. The Baneling's cost a lot of gas, and they haven't done much. While Ian, on the other hand, he's getting Infestors, he's getting Hydras. He has the superior tech in his army, and he's taking a... Oh, oh but there's some good Infestor hits with the Fungals on the, the main bulk of that army. Sulky's positioning is pretty solid. Can he get the, the proper Fungals in order to deal with this army? Excellent Fungals are oh. the army back and forth. Oh but my Sulky, gosh. does he have enough units? Will the DPS be enough? He has the closer rally helping his units out, but it's gonna be very close. There's still a lot of Roaches out, and Sulky forced to add the Infested Terrans into the mix. It does look like a lot, just barely enough units yeah. to push away the force from Ian, but still, at what cost? Solki remains, uh, actually he is ahead in supply now, he was able to successfully defend, uh, but Ian, he does have that additional yeah. base. I think after Ian was ahead, he, he got a bit ahead of himself there, trying, he, when he killed Solki's fourth, his army got caught by fungals. Even though he had better tech units, it doesn't matter if uh, they can't shoot at the back, and <laughs> so he was able to get a really nice fight there. But Ian does have his fourth running, he's making more and more Hydras and getting bailing speed, so with a good engagement here, he would be taking the lead once again, I feel. All right, Sulky, uh, I'm not sure if this is the attack he wants to do. He doesn't really have any uh, energy for fungals with these infested Terrans helping out uh, yeah. this Roach army. It looks like Ian will be forced back. The supply is heavily favoring, favoring the Korean Zerg player now as he rushes forward. Ian running out of units and with yeah. additional reinforcements from Sulky. It's not looking so good for the Taiwanese player yeah. anymore. Once again, Ian got ahead of uh, He had about 15 hydras coming, but he wasn't waiting for them. He, all his roaches were clashing against Soki's army, and he took some losses there that he should not have. And uh, it's getting very dire for Soki, or excuse me, for Ian, as he uh, burrows some of his units. The additional reinforcements are doing a good job, and this may allow Sol uh, Ian to survive for just a little bit longer yeah. in the game and actually killing off uh, a good amount of these units, evening up the supply decently, uh, at least for the most part, and also keeping that third base alive mm -hmm. is helping him out a lot, but still these infested Terrans are, uh, will they be able to provide enough DPS to really force Ian's forces back? It just, it doesn't look like it. He's just trying to buy time. Sulky wants to go for that fourth base. If he can take that out, mm -hmm. if he can get an economic lead, maybe he can make something happen, but it feels like he's just attacking into a wall at this point. Yeah, and especially with what, what he's attacking with, they're just pure roaches. While Ian, on the other hand, he's got Hydras at home. Hydras in the back deal so much damage. And so he's been able to successfully defend Soki's attacks despite throwing away, I would say, his lead twice. Uh, and uh, the Roach Warren actually getting extremely low on health. He's going to be able to pick off that Roach Warren, run away. Soki. Looks like he's going to be forced to make some Hydralisks or Infestors at this point. Yeah. And it's just, 
And Whoa, it's becoming where are the awkward investors? situation. That's a good question, man. Oh, the oh there they are. But yeah. do they have the energy? That's no, the real question. Every time Stokey's been engaging, he's using infested terrans. Now infested terrans are not as good as fungos. They're more of a desperation move, I think, with how bad they are now. You know what? And Hendrilus, I feel like this is a really desperate uh, time for Stokey. He absolutely needs to defend against this attack. But if Ian keeps reinforcing, sends units across the map, uh, I can totally see him taking this game. He's uh, Solky is still behind in oh supply. Yeah. It's relatively even, but a lot of uh, the help he's uh, getting is from those infested Terrans. But now Solky's Hydras, they're popping out. And his he's still got infestors. They're getting energy despite uh, lobbing the volleyballs all the time. But I think as Ian waits, Solky's going to catch back up on economy. He's going to get his own Hydras, more infestors, and he'll be fine if he can hold on. If he can hold on, this is looking uh, pretty gruesome. Uh, the spread for Ian's really good at this point, but now he's really committed to this attack oh. into the Lion's Den. Solky, if he can kill off these units, he can completely come back into this game, I feel. The Infestors, though, where are the Fungals? We need to see the oh, Fungals. Oh, Infested Terrans. It's just, I don't think it's enough. Ian, it looks like he may be able to take out the one of the most consistent Zerg players from Korea. Solky, yeah. it's... It's just Sulky, he doesn't have enough. He's running out of economy. The fourth base from him is just not doing enough uh, against Ian, and it's, yeah. it's a tale of economy, and Ian has been ahead in the economic game from, uh, you know, the start, essentially. Yes, exactly. And Sulky here, uh, just as I was saying, he needs a bit more time. That's not what he got, and it, things are really, really starting to look bad as his supply is... Uh, Sulky, uh, there it is. GG is called.